So, remember that meme I made about a year ago? About the Hasbro police coming to your door and telling you you're playing D&D wrong as a joke? Well, based upon the leaks and the new posting of the tentative OGL 1.1 and the new censorship morality clause, pretty much, if you do anything Wizards of the Coast finds even vaguely offensive in your real life or playing D&D, they can come after you. Yeah, stop. Hasbro police, get on the floor. You're playing D&D morally wrong. Because we find the way you're playing D&D objectionable. Or what we saw on your YouTube, objectionable. Or what we heard about you, objectionable. Or that picture of Jeannie D cosplaying as her half-orc. Well, that's objectionable because I can see a little boobies. Hmm, yeah, I guess... Hasbro now can tell us we're playing D&D wrong because that morality clause makes gives them the power to pretty much boycott anything we create if it doesn't fall within the parameters of whatever they want. And they're deauthorizing 1.0 after saying they wouldn't deauthorize 1.0. So yeah, keep fighting the power. Say no to D&D. Boycott the movie. Boycott D&D Beyond, boycott 6th edition, boycott Wizards of the Coast, boycott any YouTuber who's saying good things about this, and generally keep fighting the power because Wizards of the Coast finds us objectionable. It's a scary time. Wizards of the Coast has become the new satanic panic. They're going after us for being wrong.